Sumla is the first store creation platform for mobile games, and as such, it is the first solution that is designed to make mobile game developers happier. We have identified two market gaps. First, mobile game developers are exhausted. They each have to make their own in-game store to sell their virtual goods inside their game. And by the time they finish, they have realized that their friend has done exactly the same thing. And there are many stores out there. In fact, 250,000 mobile game developers, mobile game development projects starting each year, each taking two weeks to develop, totaling 10,000 years of wasted work. Second, mobile game developers envy web developers. Every time they want to update the store inside their game, they have to wait a whole month to do that, while web developers have daily update cycle in their stores and websites. And that has a big impact on the ability to optimize and generate revenue. And it's a big impact. Let's see how we can make a store in less than five minutes and make some game developers happier. In this demo, I'm showing you how we can create a, a store using our platform in three easy steps. First, theme selection. Mobile game developers enter this screen to select their theme. They can navigate between different store themes and browse into each theme to experience all the options that the theme has to offer before making their selection. Second step, the design of the store has to match the design of the game. So we allow them to fully customize the design of the theme. As you can probably see by now, we are designing the store for the game Temple Run based on one of our themes, except that instead of taking two weeks to do that, we're doing that in less than five minutes. Third step, creating the virtual economy for the game. Game developers can enter this tool and define different virtual currencies and virtual goods inside their game. They can configure the different attributes of every different virtual currency and virtual goods and they can update the creative using an easy to use drag and drop functionality. We also allow them to export and Im import from Adobe Illustrator to make it even easier for them. In fact, with this tool, making a store becomes so easy that a game developer, they can make a different store every day and optimize between different versions of their store to optimize their revenue. Or they can make a store for every different user segment when they're done, they can use the preview function to check out their work and then generate an SDK to integrate into their game. We're supporting iOS and Android with tablets and smart TV coming soon. So I've just shown how to create a store in less than five minutes, but also how we can optimize and update it in less than 30 seconds. There is no other company in the world doing store creation platform for mobile games today. There are companies trying to offer optimization tools for mobile game developers, but actually their integration takes so long that they actually add effort for mobile game developers. Other companies are trying to save time for mobile game developers, but they don't offer any optimization tools. Our business model philosophy is simple. We only charge money when game developers make money. We're charging revenue sharing from those successful games who have not become major hits and from those who have become major hits, we're charging usage-based fees. The team is both balanced and focused. I'm on the business side, Gur and Rafael are on the technical side, and this is not the first time we're doing this, so we know where we're headed. Thank you for listening, and I'm ready for comments and questions at this time. So I'm, I'm familiar with this, uh, with this business, unfortunately, for my kids that are doing in-game shopping without them knowing that. And that is a bit annoying for me as a father, but that's okay. Uh, what about the next step? I mean, once the, 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 the creator of the game is using you going forward, do you have the ability to, to interact with the application itself to monitor what is the revenue that is being generated there, what is the actual usage, how do you do that? Exactly, you, you touched the right point. 
once we, once we are becoming the commerce platform for all those mobile game developers, we're becoming the center of that. They, they come to our web application to check the revenue, to see the, the daily charts, to see what every user segment is doing in terms of revenue and where they should invest more. So we're becoming much more than that and we can offer optimization algorithms or we're going to offer payment processing and different things. This is just the first step, both in terms of the platforms and both in terms of the different functionality that we're going to give in the future. So what are your uh, targets in terms of uh, a, a matching up with uh, developers going forward? C can you clarify so the question? The, your, your business targets in terms of the, the number of, uh, because you're, what you provide right. here is you provide here something for the long tail primarily, mm -hmm. not for uh, uh, the main developers. So great question. So we, we are still pre-seeded and pre-launched. What, you, what you're seeing here took us less than three months and zero budget. But once we launch, our user acquisition strategy is inbound marketing. And the targets that we are monitoring are, first of all, um, the traction on our free content and free um, open source code, and then obviously sign-ups by um, mobile game developers. But did I answer your question? I'm not really sure. Not really, but that's okay. I, maybe you can clarify for me. I want to make sure. I just wanted to, a little bit more meat in terms of... Uh, the uh, actual e budgets? No. The actual targets? Targets or so uh, uh, for segments. And uh, can you uh, okay. look into that in, more, so in a more refined manner? So for our seed stage, where our target is to bring 1,000 mobile game developers to use our platform, and then longer term, obviously tens of thousands. Did I answer now? Okay, great. Um, okay. Just quick comment. One last um, question. <laughs> thanks. Um, I think uh, the payment processing piece is a real pain point, mm -hmm. and I think the sooner you can bring that in a packaged way to the long tail of the game developers, I think that would be a key value proposition. I understand the premise of, you know, it's two or three weeks of work, but mm -hmm. for a lot of the long tail startups developers, they're not thinking about that two or three weeks. They'll say, yeah, I'll just do it myself. Yeah. But I think uh, that they may not be judging the economics of that right, but I think that's the way they're thinking. I think the real pain for a lot of these uh, long tail game developers is how do we get to the, you know, how do we work out the payment maze in the universe? I think that's the strong part of the value proposition that I think if you guys can pull together and quickly, I think could uh, help promote the growth much quicker. Great comment. We, we have actually done a lot of research with mobile game developers. They only get to the payment question after they're already launched. But once we are in, we can be in, a, in the perfect place to offer them different payment processing. Obviously, the main ones are Google and Apple. But if you're, if you're looking at a global market internationally, you need to cover, to cover much more countries than they can offer. One, one last thing. Again, speaking as, as a father that is paying too much for in-game shopping that his kids are, are doing, I think if you can create something that is going to be kind of a virtual good wallet, that's going to be cross-game using exactly. your platform, that may, might be interesting for the small niche games that don't have too many users at the beginning, and that can make it uh, an interesting proposition. Great. Yeah, that, that's definitely part of our strategy. First, we have to be in a place where we are launched with 50,000 game developers, and then we can go and create our own virtual currency, our, our own virtual coin that parents or grandparents can, uh, can uh, buy and then gift it to their grandchildren or things like that. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.